Lee, yo! I got something to say. Let's get it. Don't let your mouth write a check that your ass cannot cash. That's what the old people told us. Check this out. It's, I really can't wrap my head around it. Like, I'm hurt. I can't understand how someone can do that to someone that's <laughs> holding a cake. He ran inside of the um, establishment and he was screaming, I got shot, I got shot, I got shot. We just want to go celebrate my daughter's sixth birthday. And that's, I mean, that's all he was tasked with. That's all he had on him was, was a cake. My husband passed without me, without anybody to hold his hand, to comfort him. I want justice. I want justice for my children, for Caladro. Now see, that's the outcome of when you write that check with that mouth and that ass can't cash it. Now here it is, a young man supposed to be enjoying his daughter's birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. At Chuck E. Cheese. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. Everything should be about the young one. But here it is, you coming in Chuck E. Cheese with the birthday cake and someone almost, I guess, hit you and you want to run your mouth and you lost your life. Now, I'm not going to act as if I wouldn't be upset if someone almost hit me. But we got to be the people that can run the movie before it's played. You got to be able to sit back and say, what if I say this and this could happen? What if you got to have the what if in the back of your mind? Because if not. I've seen a lot of people lose their lives and put themselves in certain predicaments because they didn't have the what if in the back of their mind. I can't knock the man that got killed, but I can't say this. I used to be that type of person. I used to be the type of person. What you say? Why are you looking at me? You know, I'm ready to go. But then I had to start realizing, man, just because I'm ready to go and I'm ready to fight and I'm ready to throw down doesn't mean the next man thinks the way I think. Doesn't mean the next man is going to be ready like I'm ready. I might be ready to throw these. He might be ready to throw bullets. You get what I'm saying? So you got to have the what if in the back of the man to say, what if I say this to this person and he jumps out of the car and he shoot me? What if I say this to this person and he jumps out of the car with a knife and he stabs me? What if? Keep the what if in the back of your mind and it can save your life. Because in 2022, everybody ain't with that loose rap. What is loose rap? Loose rap means a lot of unnecessary talking that does not have to be said. Everybody ain't with that. Everybody ain't with the, the he-man, the hoorah talk. Oh, motherfucker, you almost hit me. You talking. That person shooting. You gotta have the what if. Now here it is. Your kids and your wife gotta go on in life without you because you couldn't watch your mouth see a lot of shit can be avoided and that's what i had to understand and learn as a man too a lot of shit can be avoided if you say you know what you right because in 2022 ain't nobody fighting these niggas is weak they weak a lot of these men is weak too much sodium, too much half fructose corn syrup, too many drugs, too much alcohol, too much sex, too much negativity, too much lust, too much evilness is running through these people. And this is why everybody's so quick to grab a gun and grab a weapon because they can't throw no hands. They weak. They gonna throw two, three punches and they out of breath. They overweight. They obese. Keep that on your mind, man. Keep that on your mind. I'm every, I know you can fight. I know I know you got an anger, anger issues. But keep the what if in the back of the mind and understand nobody's playing the game the way you play it. That game, that game is over. Nobody's fighting no more. It's over. It's all about weaponry. Who got the biggest gun? Who got the longest clip? Yeah. Who got the most weapons? This is what is going on in 2022. 
So if you say something to somebody, be prepared to die about it. Be prepared. Be prepared to take it there. Are you ready to go to federal penitentiary because somebody was going down the wrong road and almost accidentally hit you? The person ain't trying to hit you, but you got to keep that in the back of your mind. You got to be able to analyze it and run the movie. That person wasn't trying. I don't even know that person. Why would that person try to hit me? That person might be going through going through something in their life. That person, uh, uh, uh. You know, could be could be in a hurry, be in a rut. You don't know what's going on. Leave that person alone. And evidently they going around. Something's going on. Let them go on about their way or be prepared to lose your life and take a life. And I'm here to tell you now, ain't none of it worth it. I love y'all. I stay focused. Peace. Hey, yo. I got something to say. Let's get it.